Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Roidme S1S cordless vacuum cleaner. Now Roidme as a brand in the UK, especially at the moment, are not that big. Uh, but what you'll find is that they're actually an offshoot of a huge Chinese company called Xiaomi. And they have a great range of products. And what they've done now is they've come up with a, a range of cordless vacuums. And really what I want to do is to see what it's like, show you some of the features and benefits that it offers, give it a test. So I've got it charged up, let's have a go. So what I want to do is first of all I'll start at the top to show you around the vacuum. But what I will do, just to make it a little bit easier, I'll just take the, the wand off the bottom there. But I'll show you the rest of that in a moment. So the way this is laid out is actually quite unique. It's, it's almost like you've got two handles. Because depending on how you're using it, if you're using it as an upright vacuum for the floor, then you've got the handle at the top here. Whereas if you're using it as a handheld, where you put the tools in this part, then you can hold it there. So it's quite a unique design, but to be fair, I really like that. You've got the on and off button at the top here. So you just press and hold that to turn it on. You have got different power levels, and all you need to do is once it's switched on, you press that button to change it. I'll just show you that as well. Hopefully you can see, I'll just turn that off, so hopefully you can see there you've actually got the battery status indicator and there is a little symbol on there, you might not be able to see it from the camera, there is a little symbol and um, basically that's telling you when to empty the bin. Uh, it should be fairly obvious uh, when you need to empty the bin because clearly it's a, a clear bin but there is a little indicator on there to show you when to do it. So the runtime in this vacuum is actually up to 50 minutes, so it is an impressive runtime. Uh, what you will find is that that is on the reduced suction. If you do use it on the maximum suction, then that will reduce the runtime. And if you're using things like the motorized head at the bottom, again, that can make a difference to the runtime you get. Uh, but on the whole, weight-wise as well, this is 2.6 kilograms, so it is actually really lightweight. Uh, it is something that a lot of our customers, whether it's online or in a showroom, are asking about, about the, the weight of the vacuum. It seems to be a very, very important factor nowadays. Uh, the other important factor is things like bin capacity. What you don't want is to buy a vacuum that you're always having to empty. So on this one it's 0.4 litres. And I must say, compared to others in the market, then that's, that's fairly average capacity. And to actually empty the bin, on this one is pretty easy. You've got a button at the bottom here and all you do is that that comes off like that. Just pop that to the side and you've got a couple of options. So first of all if you just want to empty the bin then just go to the bin, pull that little plastic tag down, I'll just show you that again. So you just pull that and then you can go and empty that so that's nice and easy. What you'll find here is at the top here you've got a HEPA filter and that just pulls out and you do actually get a spare one as well so that's a, another one that came in the box uh, to take this out and what I was saying earlier about the packaging for me it's the little things and this is actually a sprung loaded handle so as soon as you take the filter out then the handle pops up as I say, it's the little things that seem to impress me now, but that just makes it nice and easy to pull out. So once you've taken that out, then that just enables you to give that a, a good clean. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't taken it apart, whether you've watched any of my other videos. There's quite a few of my, my videos where I like to take some of the vacuums apart to give them a really good clean. Um, I haven't done this yet, so I can't say how you're best to clean it, but most of the time you're best to get a say a dry brush or paintbrush or something and just give it a, a brush round um, and with this then you can you know, give this a, a good white round I'd normally recommend say a damp cloth rather than running it under water uh, but again it doesn't look like there's a lot of metal on here you've got the odd screw to, to hold some of these parts together but 
if it really comes to it, then I'm, I'm sure giving it a, a quick rinse under the water, uh, let it completely dry before you put it back together. But to put this back together, all you do is just push that in there and then make sure the filter goes on top. So you just locate that so it's completely flat. And then push that together to shut the lid. And to locate it, all you do is just push that underneath and then it clips into place. So it is easy. Once you've taken that off, just locate it there and then make sure it clips back into place and then you're ready to go. So clearly at some point you're going to want to use it as a handheld cleaner. And first of all, you've got this, which is the crevice tool. And to use it, all you do is you just clip it into the end and then press the button to take it off. Uh, I must say I do like the way it clips into place. It's a very solid feel, not like some other cordless vacuums. Uh, but again, that just pops in there, clips into place. So you've got the crevice tool if you want to use that. The other main tool it comes with is this. This is a, like a, a dust, soft dusting brush. Um, if you want to use that, then that just clips onto the end. So you can use it as a, a handheld. So if you want to do the stairs or if you want to go and do your car, then you've got a couple of options there. So this is the main head of the vacuum. And as you can see at the bottom here, you've got a soft brush and then you've got a rubber part to it as well and on the whole combine those two especially on carpet normally gives a very impressive pickup uh, but what you have got with this one the s1s model because there are other models in the range but on this particular one you do actually get this alternative roller as well this is like a, a fluffy finish um, but what well, this is normally good for things like carpets and then this fluffy head is normally good for things like hard floors now what I will do is I will do some full testing and I will compare them to perhaps one or two other manufacturers at some point. If so, I'll provide a link just here. If there isn't a link, then I haven't done yet. But uh, to actually change the head, because for a lot of people maintenance on any cordless vacuum is really important. So it's things like I showed you earlier, to empty and clean the bin, uh, the filter to change that, actually it's really easy. Um, but what people also want to know a lot of the time is how easy it is to clean this as well. So to do that, all you need to do is you've got a clip on this side. So first of all, take the clip out and put it to one side in a safe place. And then what you do is you just lift the roller out. And that's it. So if you want to take it out to clean it, then like I just showed you, it is really easy. Uh, you've got full access to just behind the roller. So if you do get any blockages in here at all, then it's just nice and easy to get to. And then to put the other roller in, all you do is if you get that side first, pop it in like that. That just drops back into place. And just the locating tag, and then you're ready to go. So yeah, to change it over, so the other roller is really, really easy and it takes a couple of seconds. So when it comes to charging the vacuum, clearly it's very important to get it charged. Uh, this is a standard charger that it comes with and it just plugs into a socket on the back here. So it just plugs in there like that. And apparently from completely flat, it takes around two and a half hours to charge. So compared to other vacuums, that's very quick. Uh, something a lot of people want now is the things like the storage of the vacuum when you're not using it but what they do want is to be able to wall mount it and what Rod me have done and I must say it's really really clever design it doesn't actually come with a wall bracket so it actually connects to the wall but this is a magnet and I'll try and show you this in, in a moment but basically what it does is that will connect on the back there and you put this on the wall and rather than actually wall mounting it on a on a bracket like a lot of the Dyson products then you actually have it supported on the floor but this enables you to connect it onto the wall so it doesn't fall over and the way that you do it and it is quite an easy way 
First of all, you've got a sticker on the back here. So what you do is you locate it on the floor and then you stick that on the back and then you twist that and you do get a couple of screws to actually put it into the wall properly so to give it a nice good fix in. So although I've not completely stuck it on the wall, uh, just really wanted to show you the layout of this. So the vacuum as you can see is actually sitting on the floor uh, but you've actually got the, the bracket that will be stuck to the wall at the back and that's just held on via the magnet at the back. So it, personally I really like this design and then you can just connect the charger into the back. So that's the only part that you need to completely stick to the wall and then once you finish you just go and connect it back up. So I think really the proof is in the vacuum in. So we'll give it a quick test. And first of all on the right here we've got some porridge oats. Uh, on the left here we've got some rice. So it's just there. Um, unfortunately with the, the carpet we've got is actually quite a difficult carpet to vacuum on because uh, it's quite wiry and quite a thin pile. So I know for other vacuums it has been quite challenging. But uh, let's see how the roiding gets on. So very impressive. Um, what I also like about this is when you when I was whacking in, it's nice and easy to swivel the head. So that when you're having to go around corners or go around chairs and things, then it's nice and easy to move maneuver around. So just to mention the warranty on this, it comes with a two-year full warranty and five years on the motor. Now not many manufacturers are willing to give a longer guarantee on their motors, especially in the cordless market. But yeah, Royd may have decided to give a five year warranty on the motor, which is actually really impressive. So if you are thinking of buying one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. But I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Royd Me S1S cordless vacuum cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe on a YouTube video. I'd always ask to leave comments as well. So whether you liked the video, whether you didn't like it, just give me any feedback. Also, if you've got any questions on the Roid Me, then just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, uh, if you've purchased one, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.